Is it possible to remove fat from your belly, inject it into your scalp and grow back new hair? Well, it sounds like a pretty good deal, right? And believe it or not, this kind of technology actually works. So stay tuned to learn all about it in today's video. Hey guys, Leon here from HairGod.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. Now, just before we get into the video on injecting fat into the scalp, if you want to get access to the hair nutrition plan, then make sure to click the link in the description. You get 21 delicious recipes designed specifically for faster, stronger hair growth. The meals are loaded with nutrients like biotin, zinc, and collagen to make hair as thick and strong as possible. So guys, a while back, we had a hair loss story in the sun that kind of flew under the radar, but it's actually pretty remarkable. So, two for one, injecting stomach fat into the scalp could cure boulders in just six months and trim your beer belly too. Okay guys, it is the sun after all, so you'd expect a little bit of sensationalizing. But let's take a deeper look into the story. Injecting stomach fat into the scalp could be a radical new way of combating boldness, experts have revealed. The pioneering new method involves sucking fat cells from a patient and depositing them into the head in order to stimulate the hair follicles. And here we see the before and after photos of a man treated with this method. Pretty impressive regrowth considering his baseline. And here is another man with extensive hair loss in the crown area. You can see the before on the left and the after on the right. The treatment dramatically shrank his balding patch. So this is actual research paper that is featured in the Sun story. Hair follicle growth by stromal vascular fraction enhanced adipose transplantation in boldness. The method described in the paper is an example of so-called autologous adipose transplantation. Adipose meaning literally fat and autologous meaning from oneself. So the method is about using liposuction to transplant your own body fat from the belly area into the scalp. This is a kind of procedure typically used in an aesthetic and reconstructive context. So for various types of cosmetic surgery where you want to fill in an area with fat. Now the main cellular component of fat is a type of cell called adipocyte. And when you transplant fat, one way to improve the results is to enrich the adipocyte cells with the so-called stromal vascular fraction, or SVF. Now this is basically a collection of cells extracted from fat that are not adipocytes. So the SVF contains various other cells like stem cells, immune cells, and cells that are used in wound repair, for example, by promoting the growth of blood vessels or preventing cell death. And as you'd expect with these regenerative cells, SVF has been used in all sorts of regenerative medicine applications. And that includes things like wound healing, orthopedics, plastic surgery, and now even hair loss. So the scientists recruited eight men and one woman with pattern hair loss aged 18 to 55. They spanned the entire spectrum of hair loss from mild to severe. An average of 122 milliliters of fat was extracted from each patient. This was then purified and subsequently enriched with the stem cells, which were also derived from the patient's own fat. The enriched fat was then transplanted into the scalp of the patients through a series of injections. The patients were followed up for varying lengths of time post-operatively. This follow-up lasted from a minimum of 8 weeks to a maximum of 32 weeks, which is roughly 7 months. Now in this table you see the average changes compared to baseline 24 weeks after the operation. You can see that hair counts increased an average of about 28 new hairs per centimeter squared. Now, just for reference, minoxidil gives around 15 to 20 new hairs per centimeter squared. The proportion of hairs in the anagen growth phase also went up by a massive 24%. And as you'd expect, this was matched by an identical decline in the proportion of telogen hairs. Now, these results include one subject who received the adipose fat tissue without the enriched cells. This one subject had an average increase of 14 hairs per centimeter squared, which compared to 31 hairs on average for the other eight patients who received the enriched fat. So this does suggest that enriching the fat with the stem cells, quote, supercharges the regrowth. Now, exactly how and why this procedure works isn't clear yet. According to the study authors, there is a quote interplay between the hair follicle cells and the surrounding fat cells. This is basically a code word for we don't really know. But there is no doubt that part of the treatment success 
owes to the stem cells in the SVF. The operations were carried out at the Maitland Clinic in Harley Street, London. And as far as we can tell, they are not yet available to the general public. In the time since this report was published in 2017, we've had further publications by different researchers. A recent review paper identified nine clinical trials on the clinicaltrials.gov portal, which used some versions of fat-derived stem cells for the treatment of baldness. So, clearly, there is a lot of research going on, but it's still experimental at this point. And we don't know when it will become available to the general public. To the best of our knowledge, nobody is offering it just yet. But if you know of any clinic offering this to the public, we'd love to hear it in the comment section below. Now, with regards to cost, this will cost far less than a transplant. Probably similar or a bit more to what you'd pay for PRP treatment. One big question is exactly how permanent the results are. So, this is a case where you have one procedure and are you set for life? Well, we highly doubt it. You'll almost certainly need top-up treatments, and the question is how frequent that these will have to be. I'd imagine something like once every three to six months. Guys, let us know what you think in the comment section. Have you heard of this kind of hair loss treatment before, and is it something that you'd consider? And if you want to know more about the eight steps that will use the founder of HairGuard to reverse his hair loss, then click the video on the screen now.